What's going on, people? It's your main man, Everything by John, coming at you live. And I just want to thank all of the subscribers, all the likes, all the comments so far. Continue to support me. I really appreciate it. So, right now, I want to talk about how I went from a 540 credit score, right, to a 754. Okay, so as you can see from the thumbnail, that is my actual scores from the past, not even three months ago, to now. Okay, so this is from a 540 to a 750 in less than three months. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. I started off with a 570, or a 540, I'm sorry. A 540, 570, I don't know which one, but in the 500s, all right? So this is on Credit Karma. So first of all, on my report, and we gotta, you guys gotta remember, I wanna put the frame of mind on when it comes to credit scores, okay? When it comes to credit scores, a lot of people, they get mixed up in the whole, the actual number. Okay, so it's not about the number. It's about what's behind the number. It's about your report. Okay, so things like utilization, credit history, any derogatory items. These are the biggest chunks of your credit that will be determined in your score. And if you want things like a personal loan, any type of loan, a line of credit, credit cards, auto loan, all of that is going to be determined on what is behind your credit score. Okay, so it's behind it's the actual report. It's not about the score. Prime example, somebody could have a 620 credit score, okay, and get a $10,000 credit card, right? So, but somebody like, somebody on the other side could be, you know, they could have a 780 credit score and only get a $3,000 credit limit or not even get, not even get approved for that same card that somebody with a 620 applied for okay so these are the differences because it's not about the numerical number it's about what's behind okay so i just want to point that out because a lot of people get mixed up they say oh man i have an 800 credit score but they can't get approved for anything or they can't they don't get you know prime rates on different um on different products or they don't get high limits on credit cards when i talk about things behind your credit uh, for me personally i didn't have any uh derogatory items i didn't have anything on my credit except for one thing which was high balances okay so because of the fact that i only had high balances anytime i paid some of that off my credit score would shoot up because i don't have heavy negative items pulling my credit report down or pulling my credit scores down so because when you have a derogatory item which is uh, a mispayment um, a collections. A collections is basically when it's like a, it's levels to like for example, if you miss a payment on a credit card or you miss a payment on a on a car loan or you miss a payment on your mortgage. I think it's between you know depending on which exact product it is. It goes from two to three months. They give you two to three months to you know not not only pay it off but two to three months before it's reported and then get sent to collections. All right, so that's huge right there. You can check it out on Credit Karma on my FICO on Experian, they all tell you the same things in terms of how important each category of credit is. So utilization is one of the biggest ones. History is one of the biggest ones. And having derogatory items is like biggest ding on your credit. And not only that, I think you guys know by now, if you have a collection or if you have a missed payment or even a bankruptcy, you know, those things take between three to seven years to come off of your credit. So you, the last thing you wanna do is have a derogatory item on your credit because it's gonna give you so many problems. You know, thank goodness, I really don't know how I did it, you know, but I don't have any, I don't have any negative items on my report, never did. But there are these uh, credit, you know, services out there, you can contact them and, you know, try to see, you know, how you can get those things removed. You know, there are the companies out there that can help you remove that. But in terms of the levels of you miss some payments, it goes to collections. And now, you know, you have uh, three to years, three to seven years before it comes off. And I think after, you know, two to three years, it, it's not going to come off right away at that point. But after two to three years, the weight of that actual item becomes, becomes less. So after two to three years, if you've been doing the right thing the whole time, you know, you can still get approved for credit cards and loans at that point because it becomes less of a burden on your credit after a couple of years. And the biggest thing for me in my situation, and that should be for you in your credit situation, is just staying focused and disciplined. All right. So for about close to six months, I'll say four to six months, every penny, like 90 percent of every single penny I earned, whether it was from my business deals, my part-time job that I had at the time, any 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 money I was getting, I would put it right back into my balances. And this is how my balances would drop, 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 drop. Because me, my utilization was at 103%. Now, a rule of thumb is to not even be 30%. 
And to be safe, it should be 50%, right? And I was at 103. 103. That's unheard of. But I got from 103 all the way down to maybe, well, I, I think when it reports uh, next week, hopefully, it's going to be at like 10%. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what else I did to get that utilization all the way down. All right, because when you get your utilization down, your credit score will shoot up. And that's also dependent upon what kind of other negative items you have on your credit report. So one thing I did um, to get my utilization down was by buying trade lines. Okay, so if you guys are not familiar with trade lines, it's basically, you know, there's these companies out there and I'm going to name the ones that I use. Basically, you pay for something on their site, like, you know, they have like books or jewelry and then they open up a credit line for you. And this credit line reports to all three credit bureaus. Okay, so when it reports and depending on which company it is, it could be $5,000 or $3,000 uh, trade line. It reports on your uh, credit report and that you that brings down your utilization down a lot. The companies I went to, and I, and I mentioned this in previous videos, but one of them was MyJewelersClub.com. That's very familiar with a lot of people. It's uh, very uh, known. A lot of people, they go on that website and they buy a trade line. Um, well, they buy a piece of jewelry. You have to buy a piece of jewelry off of their website and it's like $100 or something like that. And that creates the balance with them. And they give you a, I think, I think it's a five thousand uh, dollar credit line. All right, but you can't use it. It's just, it's just, it's strictly for the trade line to report. All right, so it's not like you can pull cash out of it. It's just literally, it goes on your report, and it's, it's really to just lower your utilization. Okay, so that's one uh, company I went to, and then I went to two other ones, which is called, and they're two, like, they're like sister companies. It's called OxPublishing.com and huttonchase.com and i have all these links below in the description okay so one of them is uh i think 2500 and one of them is 1500 but i just want to tell you guys from my jewelers club it reports to all three credit bureaus and ox publishing and hutton chase i think only reports to either equifax or uh transunion and equifax so no experience and just either one or two of them all right so you have to call those companies and just to make sure don't quote me on on which exact one um, but it's one it's, it's one or two of them, but not experience. So going through the timeline, once I, I'm putting, just imagine, I'm putting down the balances from my, uh, you know, all the money that I'm getting. And at the same time, I bought these trade lines. So my utilization is going down from the, from the money that I'm putting in and is going down even more because of the trade lines. So both of those things coexisting together brought my utilization down to like maybe 40%. And then, you know, for the next, what, two months, for the past two months, I've been just lowering it down, lowering it down. Okay, so in the meanwhile, you can also, if you feel confident and you, uh, if you need, uh, if you need it, or, you know, maybe you just want to try it out, you can apply for a credit card. So that's one of the quickest ways to lower your uh, utilization down as well. So if you get a credit card, for example, for like 3000 5000 it's a, revol a revolving line of credit, that's going to lower your utilization down crazy as well. So if you have all three of those things going, you're gonna see a credit score shoot up, all right? So uh, that's how I did it. You know, so at the beginning of December, I was at a 540 and now I'm at a 752. And a uh, previous video I did when I got Navy Fed, uh, got into Navy Fed, shout out to Navy Federal. And you know, I talked about the importance of credit unions and all of that stuff. Um, I got, was able to get uh, uh, one of their credit cards for 10K. And this is because of all the work that I put in for the past three months, you know, straight. And I know it's hard. You got to discipline yourself. You know, I could have bought clothes and this and that and food and everything. And I, I bought some of those things, but it has to be to an uh, extreme minimum when you talk about. And just in life in general, if you if you really aim to do something, you have to sacrifice. You have to sacrifice. There's no other way around it. All right. So that's pretty much how I did it. Um, if you guys need any help in terms of like if you have a report where you have derogatory items such as missed payments collections bankruptcies because you know at the end of the day you know things happen life happens you know it can happen to anybody um let me know i'll see what i can do to help you out like i said there's companies out there that can help you out if not you know if you're just in a situation like with me you just need either history or uh just lowering utilization literally those two things just do exactly what i just said i guarantee 100 percent that your credit score will shoot up all right so that's pretty much it right there and um like i said with the credit you know it's, it's, to, it's to get you to another place. Like I said, if you want a better job, you want a better apartment, you want a house, you want a car, you want a loan, you want a mortgage, credit is gonna be the prime thing. 
for you. It's gonna be the prime thing you have to focus on. So that's the that's the credit video right there. If you are uh, if you have any other questions, like I said, hit me up, contact me, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you in the next one.